And I'm on for a day here today are some videos where you can circulate or still circulate on the internet about a man who reveals the plot, you know, to ship hundreds of guns to Ghana. Among for the videos they the internet top Facebook, you know, when some people upload it to YouTube and <clears throat> it's very disturbing. We, we, we get in these videos that you know guns are being imported into the country you know what for man for it shows you know the level of security in the country and these be the things we the talk that look the country is going down the drain a man for it's like uh, the, the, the the government is playing You know, they, they're not taking governing the country seriously in my eyes. I'm up for somebody when he, he, he try to import guns into the country illegally. I'm up for, and you know, the video come out, they circulate, and even still, people they argue. Some people they, they argue that it, 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 it be toy guns. Some people they talk say they be real guns. I'm up for. Me, sir, I see the video first. I think say with toy guns. So actually, unless this video, me, I not see say gun be silver before. All the gun we I know be black. All of so actually, silver pistol, so silver one. I'm not for I not see before. But actually, I talked to some military experts, and these military experts are telling me that these are real guns. I'm not for. Secondly, I went online to check, you know, some of the websites to see if this video is there, if this news is there. And I'm out for true, true, Ghana, Ghana for my own eyes, Ghana Web. Ghana Web reported it. That man reveals to plot, sorry, that man reveals plot to ship hundreds of guns to Ghana. I'm out for, and if you, if you listen to what this, this is CEO, more than 100 pieces of guns have been intercepted by a freight forwarder. You know, if you've seen the video, I'm not for the bag, save the video, then look. Because the man, you know, he be like, he be this kind of shipping agents with them, they abroad. You know, like, you know, Ghanaians with them, they abroad, they send something back home, and they go do barrel, or, you know, and go, you know, put all together in a container. And then send it to the shipping agent and they send him back home. You know? And obviously, if you take your thing to the shipping agents, you have to parcel it. And these, you know, people trying to smuggle the guns into the country are taking advantage. Yeah, of the fact that, you know, you just send your your, 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 your pass to the shipping agents and they send it back home for you. But then the man they talk say, look, because this thing happened before, someone tried to send guns or ammunition back home in the same way. Now, if people want to ship something back home through his agency, he opens it to see what's in there. Because you do not say trouble. Because it'd be serious thing, you know, among for you they you they illegally import or export, you know, no, no guns into a country. Actually, if you cry away, if they bug you, actually, your, your ears go make hot. Wow. And it talks in more than 100 pieces. These guns were being shipped into the country by some, some persons illegally. That's what Ghana Web they talk. The freight forwarder, Gabon, realized this after unveiling the items some clients sent to him. You know, listen. A Ghanaian living in Turkey has revealed a plot by some Ghan some persons in Ghana to ship firearms illegally into the country. So I, I don't know, I don't know, because then the, the, this Gabon man, the toxic, you know, 
trying to, to, to link up with the Ghana embassy in Turkey so they can investigate this thing properly and see and see what's going on because he looks like he knows the person that is trying to send this gun secondly there should be an address that these guns are being sent to that address needs to be you know looked at investigated even if the address has to be raided in Ghana to see what's going on in there yeah Amount for and it goes on to say that the guns which are more than 100 pieces in different so in three different sets of parcels are wrapped in a silver lining depicting a toy gun to evade custom search you see so basically them wrap them in a way that it will look like you know it be toy gun maybe and the things say the gun self no be silver, then be black, but them use how do they call them? Kitchen foil. I'm not even no kitchen foiler. Uh. You know, like criminals they use this if they want to smuggle something. Because if you if if you put a clean sorry, if you put a the, the kitchen foil around metal, uh, it 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 it, 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 it how do they call them? You know go trigger certain alarms. Like if they go through a barrier way, alarm day with that 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 silver lining or or, or, or kitchen folding, but yeah, you know go trigger the alarm so that people know what them they do. Them them they smuggle guns into the country. You know, in a video cited by Ghana Web, a man called Gabon, who is an agent who deals in import and export, stated that he was convinced. To unravel the items in some of the bags his clients sent to him to be shipped to Ghana following his previous encounter so it happened to him before this is not the first time according to him his previous shipment to Ghana landed him in huge trouble which is still pending after it was found that some of his shipment contained firearms as well you know a man for it not be the first time that you know this man illegal uh you know arms traffickers tra try to use him you know to to you know export or import arms into ghana a man for and you know it'd be very worrying it'd be very very worrying that at such a time a man for what i want to be say the way when a country they move you know it be disturbing, say, Charlie. We go see, say, people to try to send guns into the country. See the, the the level of crime, the rise, or like you know, all the time. Even policemen are being killed whilst you know, you know, on, on duty or conducting their their, their, their daily duties. A man for. Mm. And this is not the first time. A man for look. It's not the first time somewhere last year as well you know shipments of guns were you know confiscated by the government by by the customs you know in ghana and if you read that news south channel so who did this is an opinion for one you know like i know i made they chop the matter properly so much things like that i'm on for then i did read you know you know, I'm on for with this story where I see where I want can share with you and um people with really the doubt that this be they be toys or no, toy guns, no, they're not toy guns, they're real guns and they're being shipped or people were trying to you know get them into the country for whatever nobody knows but I hope say investigations will go on and you know it will be revealed who is behind all this you know I trying to illegally send guns to the country anyway, I'm out for thanks for viewing the video and you know I will see you in the next video bye